custom views tab under the views tab is a handy little feature save and set different camera angles that you can go back to at any time a really cool feature about this process is that if you go to settings and you save a file or save defaults with views set when you load that file those views will still be set so let's see how this works for example if i have a camera angle here i'll just turn turn on perspective you don't need perspective but it doesn't save perspective either so it only saves the position the rotation position and zoom of uh, the canvas so if i press custom uh, view set custom view one i get custom view one set if i now change my view to something else and i press c2 for custom view two i get custom view two set now i can go back to custom view one and go to one or the other I can clear views by pressing the switch right next to it. So if I press this switch, I go back to view one. When I press C2 again, because the switch is off, it will set a view in that position. I can clear all views using this button. Are you sure you want to clear all views? Okay, now they're all clear. So I can set some new views now. Now there's another way of adding new views with these buttons down here, next view and previous view. So having no view selected now, if I press next view, this will save that view into the first available view, C1. Now if I press next view again, it will go to custom view two. Now let's get some other views here, next view and next view. Now I can cycle through these guys and as you press previous view, you get custom view tree up here and the button flashes as you can see there. So I can cycle through these views. Now I'm going to, the reason for the slider up here, and I'm going to get to that in a second, this slider determines how many views you're going to have available to you. So perhaps those are too many views. So right now I have four views selected. If I place this slider at four, I get four views. And what this allows me to do is when I go to the last view set by this slider, next view becomes disabled. And if I go to the, to the first view here, previous view becomes disabled. What this allows me to do is to have a simple way to add this to my interface. So for example, if I enable customize and I, and you can find this under preferences config, if I enable customize, all I have to do is just grab my custom view slider. So if I add these buttons on my interface, just like that, now I have an easy way to set views here. My next view, next view, next view. I have four views, so I know I'm in the fourth view. And it, it tells me up here in the note bar. So previous view, previous view, there. If I want, let's say I want to set a new view, I can go to the last view, turn this slider up to five, and create a new view here, say new view. And now I can cycle to my five views or I can go up to 16 views if I like. So that's a, a cool way to use these custom views. And of course I got my clear all slider here. Now all my views are cleared and I can start like with one view, set this to be number one then say I want another view now and this can be number two and I can cycle through them easily.